Welcome to class. Today we're going to start out by doing something that perhaps you have tried before, perhaps you haven't tried it before, but it may be a little bit unconventional at first sight. We're going to start standing up and we're going to begin with something we're just going to shake. I don't know if you've seen them, um, if you have a dog or if you've just seen animals in general, after they've taken a nap or after they've perhaps been in a little brawl, a little fight with another animal, they do this full body shiver, shake it off, and then they just move on. Toddlers, small kids, they have a tendency to, to do the same. After a big tantrum or something, they sort of just get it out of their system and then onwards and upwards. So we're going to start this class with something similar. And so I invite you to come standing on your mat, on your space, in your space. Bring your feet about hip width apart. And then just take a moment here before we start with anything and find your posture. And what I mean when I say that is tuck your butt under just a little bit so that your hips are sort of going forward. Your tailbone is pointing down towards the floor. Roll your shoulders back. Maybe do a couple neck twirls here. Find just a moment of, you can close your eyes and notice your feet fully grounded on the floor. Take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale through your mouth. And do that again. Inhale. Inhale as deep as you can. And when you get to the top of that breath, just pause for a moment and release. Once more, take a big breath in. You know where we're going this time. Inhale. Pause. Notice how your entire body is full of breath. And release. If you closed your eyes, blink them open again. And now just before we start, just take another moment here. Just notice your body in this moment on this mat, on this floor, and begin to just take a couple of deep breaths here. Okay, perfect. So we've arrived. We're here. We're on this mat. Everything that was before this yoga class is there, stays there, and everything that is before after this yoga class is just that, after this yoga class. So let's really try and spend these next hardly 15 minutes now together just being here on this mat, all right? So we're gonna start by giving our knees just a little bend, so we're not like straightening them to the fullest. A little bend here just to get comfortable. And then just start doing this. Just swing your knees, Rocking your legs back and forth, just bending and straightening your legs. Nothing strenuous, nothing super crazy. And then maybe do a little side to side with your hips. And maybe you put a smile on your face, maybe you just start incorporating your arms in this. If that doesn't feel good, then you just, you do you. So yoga practice is always your personal practice, okay? So if something doesn't feel good, ignore it. And then just a little circle here, hip circles. And then switching that direction, going in the other way. And again, if you wanted to join your arms, no one's watching you, no one's judging you. And then keep your hips still for just a minute and we're just gonna begin swinging those arms. So you can do them like this, you can 
go full on. I can't really because I'm going to hit my arms on the back wall, but anything here really that feels natural or <laughs> natural may be the wrong word to use, but anything that feels good right now. If you're doing this with someone else, make sure you <laughs> are keeping a distance from them. And then just still for a second. And then now we're just gonna do full body. So bringing those legs back in, arms, whatever direction feels good. Breathe, see if you can breathe fuller. If you want to shake faster, you can find shaking here. If you want to go slower, more intentional, do that. All right, we've got one more minute of this, so you go, you do you. Remember to breathe. And basically, remember, the one rule that we have here, the partner rules. So just let go. Release through your mouth when you need it. Thirty seconds to go. Bring all that shaking out. If you have anything specific you want to release. See if you can really see it leaving your body as you shake it out. And pause. Just let everything go. Return to that first position we were in. So just micro bend in your knees, relax your arms. Slight tuck of that tail so that your tailbone is pointing down to the floor. And close your eyes here, just take a moment. Feel whatever is coming up right now. Whatever sensations you've got going on in your body right now. And if you don't have any, that's also a sensation. That's also a feeling, okay? So there's no right way this is supposed to go. Is just us moving our bodies and allowing for whatever to come up to come up. And then blink your eyes open if you'd close them. Welcome. So we're going to come to the top of our mats, put it back in order if you shook it out of order like I did. <laughs> and we'll find that same base position, so our mountain pose hip width apart, feet, inhale here, arms come up above us. Exhale, we're gonna fold over those legs, so give those legs a little bend. Inhale, we're gonna lift up halfway, so hands to our shins or hands to floor. Exhale, fold again. We'll do that twice more. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. We're going to place our hands on the mats, take a big step back, ending up in our downward facing dog. So bend those knees as much as you need to. We're sending our hips back in space and then we're sending our chest opening our chest back towards our thighs. So we're really looking for length in our spine here. So from the top of our head, all the way down to our tailbone. So if the knees have to be bent for that to happen, then please bend them. If your heels are touching the floor, then that's perfect too. Whatever, wherever you are right now is exactly where your body needs to be. You can walk that dog. We'll stay here for a few breaths. Breathing in and out through your nose. And this class, we're not focusing so much on 
technique so much on exactly how things need to be done we're just releasing so use your downward facing dog for that if this is a bit much staying here you can always come down to your child's pose always 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 an option and yoga is as i've mentioned your personal practice so you make it to whatever your body is craving today We're gonna inhale here, exhale. We're gonna take a big step forward with that right foot, place it in between our hands, left knee comes down to the mat. Inhale here, we're gonna lift up, finding that lunge. We're just gonna sink down, finding an opening in that left front thigh. And you can untuck the back toes if that feels good. Breathe here, release, and as you exhale, see if you can get a little bit deeper. So on the inhales, we find some length. Exhales, we just let go. Inhale, exhale, hands to the mat. Bring that left foot forward, meeting the right. Inhale here, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a deep breath here in through our nose. Exhale through our mouth. Inhale, other side. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. We're doing it twice more. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold. Inhale. And exhale, fold. Hands come down to the mat. On your next exhale, take a big step back. Ending up on your downward facing dog. We won't stay here for this as long this time, just staying here for about three full cycles of breath. So if you know again that you'd rather come down into your child's pose, then please do so. Otherwise, just find some stillness here and breathe into it. If you want to go deeper in your down dog, bend your knees and then send your hip or your bum back up to, to the sky and then strain your legs again. That always gets me. Next inhale, look forward. Exhale, place that left foot in between your hands. Right knee comes down to the max. Keep those toes tucked or untuck them. Inhale, lift up here. And exhale, sink down. Opening up that leg, opening up that hip, really anywhere that you can feel it in your body right now, as long as it's not pain, it's fantastic and it's welcomed. So no need to focus so much on how or, yeah, how this should look, how it should feel, just as long as it doesn't hurt you, you're fine. And if arms being up is too much, place them on that left leg. Breathe here. Ooh, find your balance. Maybe put a smile on your lips. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your hands back down to the mat and just left knee comes back, meets your right knee. Knees come as wide as your mat or a bit narrower, up to you, big toes together. Sending our booty back to our heels, walking those arms forward, but not so far that they have to be active. We're just going to relax them down here, so elbows come down to the mat. Forehead comes down to the mat. Now you can sort of roll your forehead a little bit side to side on your mat to give yourself a little bit more nurturing right here or staying in stillness.
And just take a moment here and really thank yourself for showing up for yourself. You gave yourself, you carved out 15 minutes of your day to spend on you. And that deserves a pat on the back and that is, that is fantastic. So good for you. And you can stay here if you want to for as long as you want. And if you're ready to come up, you can slowly walk your hands up. And that was everything we had time for today. Thank you so much for practicing with me and I wish you a beautiful day. Namaste.